Hello, I'm Donya Jekyll, the Executive Director of AANE. Navigating romantic relationships while on the spectrum presents very unique challenges for adults. I came to fully appreciate this as a result of a mind-expanding encounter with a visitor nearly 20 years ago when Asperger's was hardly known or understood. A woman walked into the A&E office and told me her husband had died the night before, but she was unable to put him to rest without fully resolving her confusion as to what was different about their relationship. She went on to describe her recently deceased husband, an engineering professor at a local university, and their unusual 50-year marriage. He was a brilliant man, committed to his work, a dedicated father, an adequate provider. He had a husband who displayed little physical or emotional intimacy. She wanted to know if I thought he might have had Asperger's, like Temple Grandin, whom she had just read about in the recently published New Yorker article, The Anthropologist on Mars, by Dr. Oliver Sacks. During that visit, I realized that neurodiverse marriages, where one or both partners are on the spectrum, can be different in many critical ways. We know from a survey we conducted of partners in neurodiverse relationships that 96% of respondents felt that being in a neurodiverse relationship was difficult or very difficult. Of course, every relationship, neurodiverse or not, is unique and has its challenges. But over the years, I have seen a pattern emerge of specific issues neurodiverse couples encounter. For example, differences in executive function, which affects the execution of tasks that require multiple steps. The variation a need for downtime and recovery. Preferences for planned versus spontaneous activity. Difference in, differences in communication styles and differences in demonstrating affection. I found that healthy neurodiverse relationships depend on a shared knowledge of each partner's unique neurological difference and consequently a mutual awareness of what each needs from the other. With clear understanding, a couple can create a roadmap to navigate their distinctive journey with acceptance, incorporating informed accommodations, realistic expectations, and clear communication. I have seen numerous relationships thrive but usually with the guidance of a therapist who understands the issues unique to neurodiverse couples. In response to a clear need for partner support, AANE started its first couples group in 2001, which I led with psychiatrist Dr. Laura Weisberg. Following that group, through articles, talks, specialized support, and expert services, AE became instrumental in expanding general awareness of and knowledge about neurodiverse marriages and partnerships. A few years ago, I connected with Rita and Andre Friedman, who were struggling to find relationship help for a family member on the spectrum. After searching to no avail for a couple's counselor who understood Asperger's, they realized that very few couples therapists understood the intersection of partnerships, and autism. a &E was one of the few organizations that had the resources to build a quality online training specifically for therapists and make it available to a national audience. We are thankful for the Freedman's invaluable support, which enabled us to put together a training that will ensure that couples in need of support will have access to therapists who understand their specific experiences. The Peter M. Friedman Neurodiverse Inst Couples Institute will be launched in September and we are inviting therapists interested in being trained to be part of our inaugural program. Please see below for more information. Thank you so much for listening and I hope you have a relaxing and enjoyable summer.